Hi, today I'm going to try and clear up a couple questions. One is about hot glue and the other one's about the pin chuck and the collet chuck. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here's the bin where I store all my uh, waste blocks in and these are all out of maple. I think uh, probably most of them. And so what I did was just cut them on the on the bandsaw and I don't know there's a hundred of them in there or so. I had some scrap wood laying around. So that's what I use is, is hard maple for them. All right, so I still get a lot of questions about the hot glue, so I wanted to uh, clear that up. This is just regular hot glue that I get at the craft store. It's, there's nothing special about it. I don't special order it from anywhere. Um, what I do is is I take my uh, waste block here and I take my parting tool and I cup it out just just a little bit so it so it sits nice and flat around the rim. I fill it up with make sure this is nice and hot. Fill it up with the hot glue put my work piece on it, bring the tail stock up, smash them together, let it sit there for a few minutes until it, it turns white or, and, and hard. You'll be able to tell when it's dry. It, it actually turns, turns hard again. And I've, I've showed in a couple of videos where, where, I mean, this is, this is a hard maple and I've caught my tool or something and it broke this waste block before the, the hot glue will come apart. I've been using hot glue for, I don't know, years, many years, many years. Um, and I've never had a piece of wood separate from the, the, um, waste block because of the glue. This will break before the glue will come apart, but make sure it's nice and hot. And I've turned actually big things using the hot glue too, not just, just, uh, you know, little boxes or something. I've actually turned, you know, some bigger things and it still holds. It'll, it'll bust this before the glue will fail. So, I hope that clears it up and it's just regular regular hot glue so and this gun is I know it's a looks like a big industrial gun and I'm not even sure where I got it it was probably a yard sale or something I, I can't remember I know I didn't buy it new or maybe somebody gave it to me but the little teeny glue guns you find at the craft store they may not get it hot enough so Maybe look around and see see about getting a, a bigger one, something that, that really heats it up. So I hope that cleared anything up about that. So, and then the other thing is the pin chuck. Okay, the other question I get quite a bit is on my pin chuck. So, here's what we have here. This is a, just a 5 8 inch rod I bought uh, at the hardware store. I took it over on my grinder and just ground down a flat spot. What I was using was it was a, just a 16 penny nail. So I, it doesn't have to be a 16 penny nail. It's just what I had laying around. So I ground it down and when, if you're using the grinder to do this, it will, will cup it out, which you can't have. You need it flat. So I ground it down where the cup was the same level as my pin here. So across there, same level all the way across. Then I put it in a vise, took a file and filed it down flat so that the pin can roll back and forth as uh, when you when you twist your piece on it so that's it and let's see real quick it is and this you know can vary too it's uh, about five and three quarters and my groove is inch and three quarter so and the depth of it is is probably I don't know whatever a 16 penny nail is what is that eighth real close to an eighth maybe a little bit more so, and this is a collet chuck. I got it at Woodcraft. And they come with a bunch of different size collets, so you can do a lot of different things with them. This slides right into your headstock with the Morris taper. This all slides together. And the pin chuck fits in there right like that. And you can adjust it for different things. And what I do is, I got this live center. I've had this for quite a while. It has a had a little center piece in it there just like that that's and I got this at Woodcraft too what I did was pop this out and it just happened to be perfect for fitting in there and supporting it so if I'm making a duck call I slide my piece on there pull this up so there's no vibration out here and I think you can find you'll be able to find a live center that that gets really close to that or has a taper like that so you can use it use it for that somebody wanted it was getting some vibration out here so that's how I deal with that and I just slide it right up and, and it eliminates all the vibration in it so wrap up on that I got the collet chuck at Woodcraft got the live center at Woodcraft and I made the pin chuck Alright, I hope that cleared up any questions you guys had on uh, 
on the hot glue or the the pin chuck um, just uh, email me if you have any more questions and I will try and put a video up and explain it the best I can but thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe